Megan Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, guys. Ooh, good ooh. morning. I'm feeling good. I ain't feeling Aaron Judge good, huh. but I feel good. Just <laughs> when you thought it was <laughs> safe well, there you go. to start <laughs> raving about there your you Lakers, high pipe hooray, the Lakers are back, baby. <laughs> that happened. And you know what? I felt so sorry for you last night. I decided I'm going to rescind the bet that we made, the diet do bet that we made yesterday because you lost again. But this one, I'm going to give it back to you because I feel for you. Because he's 81 there. I okay, mean, but they don't rescind bets in Vegas. You realize they don't, that? They don't do that? You no, know, they do not. Oh, we're they not do, in Vegas, okay. We're not in Vegas anymore. <laughs> and, that, and that California gambling well, that bill, they didn't pay us. very <laughs> nice of you, Skip. What yeah. a great way to start the show. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get into that Lakers topic and Anthony Davis in just a moment, guys. But let's start with the Cowboys, Skip. According to reports... Dallas has some, quote, concerns about Odell Beckham Jr.'s health. They don't believe he can contribute until 2023. When asked about how confident he feels about OBJ's health, here's what Jerry Jones had to say, quote, not confident at all. According to Pro Football Talk's Mike Florio, the source called the Cowboys' release of Odell's medical information astounding and that the free agent receiver should be upset and no longer consider even signing with Dallas now. Man, the drama just doesn't stop. <laughs> Shannon, break it down. What is going on here? Well, I don't think anybody should be surprised at the level that the NFL or a sports organization would go through to try to get a discount. Now, Odell visited two other organizations. He visited the Buffalo Bills. He visited the New York Giants. And nothing about his medicals ever came out. Mm -hmm. His medicals only came public or what uh, the knee wasn't where it should be or how they think it should be only after he met with the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Ed Werder is as plugged into the Cowboys as anybody in the history or anybody's plugged in with any other franchise. Ed Werder's plugged I'm in. I'm not sure I can go that far, but he is very plugged in. Yes. So this ain't just come out of the no, blue. He ain't no. just throwing this out there against the wall. Agreed. So if I'm Odell, I'm extremely upset. Yeah. And I'll be looking at some looking at some actions. Maybe I might need to sue because this thing get out of any other place. Now I'm sure the Giants medical team looked at that knee. Mm. I'm sure the Buffalo Bills team medical team looked at that knee. Mm. But only after this. Now Skip Jerry, if you listen, Jerry kept dropping breadcrumbs along the way that he wasn't as all in on Odell as maybe Michael Parson and Diggs and Dak and Zeke and some of the others, or as maybe as much as Cowboy Cowboy Country was. I will buy that. Because he kept saying, yeah, that's a great player. We understand what he represents on the field. Yeah. But why is he available? Mm. He kept saying, why is he available? You have to ask yourself those questions. Mm -hmm. but, but come on, you don't have to do this, Cowboys. If you believe that you have the team that can go and compete for a title without Odell, mm. why would you need to drop this breadcrumb? Yep. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's ta I, I look at it as being tacky. Um, mm. If I'm, old, I, you know I mean? obviously, you're going to have to wait. Now, damn. Can I trust him? And, and, and but Skip, that's, this go coin coincides with my timeline. You remember, we've been talking about this, and you say, well, why don't somebody else like Skip? I mean, if you look at the tea leaves, and it's like, okay, if he comes back and he's like a fast healer, I'm talking about, Ooh, got the head touch, the hand of God just touched him. Yeah. If you're still looking at late December, early January, kind of coincides with what the uh, Cowboys believe that he's not going to be able to help us until 2023. Yep. Skip, this is just a bad look for the Cowboys. Uh, I hope everything works out for Odell. I hope, you know, um, uh, I think Ian Rappaport tweeted this morning, like, at the whirlwind visit, he's headed to, uh, uh, he's headed home to Arizona. I didn't know he had a home in Arizona, but, hey, Maybe he's going there. Maybe he wants to get away from everything, sit down with his family, his mom, his dad, his girlfriend, whomever close advisors, and says, okay, what do you think? Knowing what we know, how this thing played out in Dallas, knowing what we know, the giant situation, the Buffalo situation, what do you think my best options are? But at the end of the day, it comes down to Odell. Yeah, you can get advice from mom, dad, brother, sister, mm -hmm. girlfriend, whomever else. At the end of the day, you're going to have to be the one that's going to have to go to these meetings, eventually have to practice and go play. Mm -hmm. So what is the best situation for I, uh, Odell? I don't have any answers but for that, Skip, but this is a bad look for the Cowboys, and I'll be looking at trying to get me some representatives and say, okay, what do you think? Because mm -hmm. this got out somehow. I don't know, Skip, I don't know. You, you know somebody going to leak bad information about themselves? Nah, me either. Mm. Okay. You done? I'm done. Thank you. Here I go. I do not have any huge issue with the quote-unquote leaking this information to Ed Werder. And by the way, 
let, let's not discount how good a reporter Ed is because he is really top notch at um, reporting. He okay, is, but unless he's in there with the guy that's touchy tugging and jerking and twisting my knee, Ed Warder is not that good a reporter. Every story that's ever been leaked, be it Watergate, be it Iran Contra, mm -hmm. it came from the inside. Mm -hmm. It always has, it always will, because Ed Warder was not in that medical room. Okay, carry on. But maybe he has a source within the cowboy medical team <laughs> that that is somehow sympathetic to Ed and and gave him some information, not for any. Uh, advantage Dallas just just because Ed had a relationship with said medical person, yeah, right? That's, that's called reporting. That's called right? cowboy leaking. Well, if if maybe, you go to cowboy, but, but you can't know that for a fact. You can't know it for a fact. You could be right. You 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 probably are right, but you don't know it for sure. What is the issue on the table right now? <laughs> it's, a, it's a knee that yeah, has yeah, been yeah, reconstructed yeah. not once but two yeah, times. Yeah. It's the same knee, yes, and he tore yeah. it. God bless him in the Super Bowl because it was an incredibly bad literal break yes. of a tendon that just went for no reason yes. while he's just running across right. the football field. Non -contact. There's no contact, right? Correct. It was terrible. And he was off to the races in the Super Bowl. He had Correct. two catches for whatever it was. He'd caught the opening mm -hmm. touchdown pass. All right. So you're right. Jerry has pushed back against this from the start because Jerry's calling card is I draft winners. Right. I dra they, they have drafted as well as anybody this side of Kansas City over the last decade in the NFL. You're correct. And I do, I, I grudgingly give Jerry Jones some credit for that because do I think he knows anything about football? Not really, but but I think he has people around him who really know a lot about He's football. He's hired the right people. Will McClay. Thank you. Starting with <laughs> Mil Mc Will McClay, who's always sitting up behind Jerry in his box, taking notes, and, and I'm thinking, there's my guy. If there's my brain trust right there. And if they don't put his name up on the screen, Okay. Not one person would know no. who he was. Okay, I got it. But but Jerry does have final say, Absolutely. especially on the first couple of rounds of the yeah, draft. Yeah. And so Jerry's claim to fame in Dallas when he goes out to dinner in Big D is, I picked these players. They're yeah. they're mine. Right. We we're homegrown right. because he loves the idea of America's team is homegrown. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So it it cuts against Jerry's fabric. Of, of how he built the Dallas Cowboys. Right. I am the owner and the operator. Right. I'm the general manager. Mm -hmm. It cuts against the grain of Jerry to say, I'm going to go out. He did it one time back in 19, as you know, 95, yeah. when he went and got the guy, Deion Sanders, <laughs> and it changed life between San Francisco and Dallas. So Deion was the reason San Francisco won and the reason Dallas won the next but Super Bowl. But the thing, the difference between a draftee and a free yeah. agent is that guy was already established. He, he said, I developed Zeke. I no, developed no, that. I, 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 I developed CD to all okay. these young all guys. Right, all right. Well, so what did. what did I tell you from the start? Yeah, you, you kept throwing back at me. Well, you're not the biggest Odell fan. I've never been because right. he's always been more trouble than he's worth until he got to the Rams. And right. then you talked about it yesterday. He grew up right yep. before your very eyes. And he was a model citizen with yes. the Rams. And he started very slowly, averaged three catches and 34 yards a game for eight games down the stretch of the regular season. And then all of a sudden at Tampa... In the game, he took off, off. He he went off for nine catches at 113 yards. That looked like New York Giants Odell, not Correct. not Cleveland Odell, who Correct. stayed hurt the, just pr pretty yes. much the whole time. Yes, he had three surgeries while he was in Cleveland on various parts of his body, yeah. and started looking like a shell of his former Giant self. And then last year with the Rams, boom, and he becomes a catalyst to win the Super Bowl. Right. Okay, so I said, I want the catalyst because I think my team's on the verge of maybe breaking through. Maybe this is the year. Right. And we talked yesterday about the football power index is now ranking Dallas, giving it the best shot to, to not only get to the Super Bowl, but to win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So we're on the verge, on the verge. And I'm thinking, well, I want the good luck charm that the Rams had last year. Who was that guy? Right. He was the talisman for the, the Rams. He, he, he was the guy in the locker room where you say, we got Odell and you don't because right. Odell once upon a time was a dominating receiver. Yeah. And I think he's still, he's turned 30 now, but he still has a lot left in his tank. Right. If in fact the knee comes back. Right. Okay. So I said, I want him just for his presence. He is a superstar it, on, on social media. There's nobody bigger in the league, th th including Tom Brady, who's right. tried to, to get <laughs> into the game on yeah. social media and can't compete with that guy. Right, right. Now, again, he's not in LeBron's league or, or right. the, the NBA kind of league, right. but but in the NFL, he's number one. But, Skip, I think the thing is, well, you said you wanted 
Odell as a catalyst, I don't think Jerry ever viewed him as that. No. Nope. Jerry's looking at it in a term, Skip, in very simple terms, black or white. Can you help me or can you not? Yep, I I'm not, I'm not about to pay you to rehab on All my right. dime if you can't get out on the field and help me contribute with winning. I, I agree. Okay, so here we...